What is happening, everybody? Welcome to Off the Rails, a recovery podcast dedicated to ending the stigma of addiction through open discussion on all things recovery related. My name is Mark, and with me always are Dave and Jared. Today we're shooting the sober shit. Howdy. Nice, nice hot, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, Dave's hat today is sweet. For Studio all you that a. can't see, he's wearing a vintage cowboy hat. Yeah, it is beautiful. <laughs> I believe it's a dollar store cowboy hat. Not a vintage. Would never be deal. <laughs> With a yes, guy sold. painting from Newgate. What's that? With a beautiful lion painting from Newgate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Newgate. My, uh, my other one's in Studio B, so I gotta get that back. I'm looking. I'm still waiting for an episode from Studio C. Yeah, we will have to do one soon. We'll have to do one soon. Yeah, no doubt. How's everyone's week? It's been good, man. Excellent, excellent. You? I've been told I'm starting starting off the weeks. So uh, I've had a pretty sweet week. Um, well, no, yeah. My dad was here. That was fucking awesome. And uh, he left Friday, so I was pretty sad about that. And, uh, yeah, uh, what, it was an awesome time when he was here. I mean, like, before active addiction, like, my dad was my best friend for sure. And then uh, using the kind of, like, we weren't as close anymore and, like, then when he started more finding out about my using, like it was even like a bigger distance. So uh, it was cool, man. It was cool, you know, kind of showing him how I'm doing. And I think that put him at a bit of ease because up until this point, we just talked on the phone for the past nine months. Also hit nine months, which was fucking sweet. Nice. Uh, Thursday. Right. Um, oh, I had a dude tell me he's going to kill me at Soup Kitchen. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, great. that wasn't that wasn't great. Just there trying to help feed someone who told me he's going to kill me. So that was awesome. Um, so other than that, man, well, that shook me the full day yesterday, or uh, yeah, Friday. Just wasn't stoked on that. I yeah. was really angry. Did some breathing techniques. Um, because I kind of wanted to just hit him. Um. But I never, guys, because that's not what you do. Now, did you recommend to him that he should try some breathing techniques? No. <laughs> I went right to, like, uh, no. Yeah, at first I tried to, like, de-escalate the situation and just try to talk to him. But then he continued to tell me he did not like me. And uh, then I went, uh, you know, like, when you hit that fight or flight kind of, I went right to fight. And I'm just like inside my heart's just like racing. I'm like, fuck this guy. Yeah. And then I had to just like stand there and just be really angry and I did not enjoy it. What was it over? Why do you do that? Well, well, you, good question. Before you go into this place, you got to put your bags in these cubicles for the safety of everyone, volunteers and guests. So I said, uh, man, you're good to go. You just got to place your bag in the cubicle. And then he proceeded to tell me that if anyone loses his bag, he's going to fucking kill him and kill me. In which I replied, I don't think this, I don't think that's going to happen. Then he, uh, I was like, man, that's not going to, I'll keep an eye on your bag. You're not going to kill anyone. Just go have a good breakfast. So he Tell us one of the volunteers you're going to kill them. So we got to kick him out. And uh, then he makes a joke about me being on steroids, which is like a good one. Um, <laughs> hey, what a, hey, what a compliment. I thought I so too. Someone would tell me right? I'm on steroids, eh? Yeah. So I was That's like, awesome. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'm pretty open with my drug use, bro. Like, um, so yeah, he, yeah, sorry. I don't mean like the drug in that way. I just mean like the oh. look. Yeah, 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 I know. That's like sweet. I've been back in the gym for two months. So, like, yeah, what's up? And uh, so, yeah, I let that go to my head a bit. And uh, then he said he's, he would fucking kill me. And I said, that's nice. And uh, then he punched the window. And it just doesn't make any sense because we were like, nothing but nice to him. And uh, 
then he was just drinking outside. The, so I don't know. How does it how does it work with for that? Like obviously, you know, you guys said you had to kick him out when he threatens like the worker. Is it just kind of like just your discretion before that? Like if he was like, could you have like not let him in based on how he was acting, or is it just kind of like yeah, I shouldn't have let him in the first time, right? Yeah. I was like, no, you can't threaten people. Like, but then I was like, man, you know what? Have a good breakfast. Tried to like yeah. de-escalate it. This guy is just kind of an asshole, I guess. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get it at all. But uh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that was my um, eventful Friday. So, but that had me shook. I'm still kind of pissed off about it. Because of that, now he can't go. He can't go back for like a week, right? Yeah, it just doesn't seem worth it. But absolutely not. You know, and like everyone there is there to help people. Yeah, I, I don't get it. But uh, yeah. this goes to show you, he's probably got some. Obviously, got some things going on, right? Yeah, it's not about it's not about you guys and everything. It's just like kind of where he's at, and that's yeah. it's on him to figure out, I guess, right? But yeah, but you know what? You know what? 129 people were fucking awesome out of the 130. So like that's what that's what really matters. Yes, yeah, guy. All right. So sweet program. Uh, yeah, that's my week. How did you, I just got a question for you? And uh, I don't know how to how to really phrase it necessarily, but with uh, with like your dad, did you notice like over the week? Like you kind of mentioned at the start of the week, maybe. It's just kind of being a little because you haven't seen him for so long since you've been sober. Yeah. Did you notice like the progression of the as the week went on, kind of just like maybe put his guard down a little less with you towards the end, or like how? Oh yeah, man, absolutely. Um, yeah, at the beginning, I could tell he was still like trying to size me up type thing, and like, and and it's fair, and I understand why he's doing it. Like, you know, God doesn't want to get hurt or whatever, and he's just like seeing how I was acting and like, you know, how people, you know, when people are like looking at you and like trying to see what, like just trying to figure out, you, trying to figure you out. And he was yeah. like, that's how he was like looking at me. And I was like, and it was a bit uncomfortable, but like, fuck, I, I deserve it. Right. Can't expect yeah. everything to be better. Like right away, but yeah. you know, we're able to hang out for 10 days and talk and yeah, I don't know, man. It was awesome. Can't wait for it to visit again. Wicked. Yeah. How do you feel about your first Father's Day coming up tomorrow? Oh, pretty excited. Um, nice. It's going to be cool. How do, how do you find Father's Day? Uh, well, last year, I don't know. This will be the first sober one. So, but, well, actually, no, my first one, I was sober. Um, <laughs> last year, I was a mess. Like just mentally, I don't even really remember it. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Father's Day is great. Nice. Yeah, happy Father's Day, fellas. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. All right. Who wants to tell me about talk about their week? I, uh, I can go. Or unless Jared wants to go. I yeah, sure, if you want. Yeah. You want to? Is that what you said? Yeah, mine's short and sweet. Sweet. Good week, as usual. Um, I didn't make it to a meeting today, which kind of sucked, but I'm sick. Like, I don't know. I don't really want to go around older people without a mask. <clears throat> and I don't like wearing masks really anymore. Especially if being sick would suck. Um, you, didn't uh, you, you went to a new one on Wednesday, though, no? Or was that this yeah. week or last week? Uh, uh, I forget now. When did oh. I text you guys? It would have been last week, I think. You only text us once a day, so. <laughs> I well, I don't get my – I can't have my phone at work. Okay. Uh, so I don't have my phone until after work. <laughs> and then, yeah. What about – yeah. And then That's I just – fine, yeah. Plus, uh, Bree's been on to me about being on my phone too much. Oh, yeah. Classic. Like, pass the blame to Bree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, here in this yeah, break. I, <laughs> I went to a golf tournament yesterday. And then, of course, it was 
full of booze and whatever else probably. But uh, yeah, I kind of set a plan before I went to uh, not stay after. So I went, I played, I had fun, and then I left before the dinner. Um, so I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm ready to start getting out in public because it's like I can't avoid it forever and I need to get out there. So yeah, it was good. Um, but and then I had a hor- like a horrific dream last night. So what was your dream? Oh, uh, just drinking, doing drugs, like r- the most random people in it ever. Um, yeah, but I woke up grateful to be sober. And I keep having a really fucked dream. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw one of my like one of my friends was in it, and he was like a little person in it and had a big massive barrel i'm like what the hell is going on here this is like just weird dreams yeah no i keep having the same weird using dream where like i'm pouring out drugs and then it like i go to like do it and it's just they're like lines of coffee i'm like what the fuck <laughs> and i'm like this is not gonna take it like it's just it keeps happening too and i'm like this i don't know I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's weird. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's been a pretty good week. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, went, to, went to trampoline park today with my daughter and my cousin and his daughter. You do any sick flips? No, I didn't jump. You can't. My daughter, like, there's two sections. So, kids under four go in this one section. And then four and over go in this other section. Once she's four, then I'll be able to jump with her sweet so um yeah i've been like i don't know i like start to like second guess myself sometimes like is am i you ever get this where you're like thinking like because you're doing pretty well you're sober but then you're kind of like was i really that bad and then i start thinking about it and i just start thinking about it and uh yeah and then i always go to this my my favorite quote and then i'm like yeah that was bad and this is way better yeah yeah i think that's fairly normal but you were that bad oh i know i was that bad right yeah but it's just it's weird that that thought comes into your head and then you gotta like get rid of it type thing yeah absolutely i find that very odd yeah yeah i've had that same kind of thought process at times too and for me i was just like thinking about it. i'm like was i that bad or was it just like fucking just the unmotivated was it just lazy piece of shit that just could like can you know get it together and and then you start to get down on yourself like that too so i don't know but yeah i get i kind of get like that too like when i hear other people's stories that are like really bad right and then my i'm like oh mine it's not that bad, but everyone's different. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I just, I find it pretty important to always remind yourself that even if you do think that definitely think about what was so bad about it. Even when I get those thoughts, you literally have to like fight every day. Like those thoughts, it's pretty uh, like mentally exhausting sometimes, but it's very rewarding. Absolutely. Dave, David, David, um, his pen. Oh, sorry, it's all good. <laughs> was I didn't yeah. notice was he doing that the whole time? Yeah, remember and uh, Mark hated that when we were in uh, groups. I did well. It's just silence. Oh, you're just flicking your pen. I think most people st- didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I just I, I don't know. I love yes. the sound of a dinging seatbelt too. Like I don't know what is wrong oh, with me. Fuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh man! Oh my! That drives me absolutely insane. Yeah, and just not noticing it, and just like yeah, oh. that's me. I that's drive how my dad sometimes, and he and he wouldn't put his seatbelt on, and it's digging, and I'm just like, yeah, are you gonna put that thing on or what? Like, you don't hear shit about anyone around you. Even if I'm on the, even if I'm on the phone with someone and my things like digging, they're always like, "Can you put your seatbelt on?" Like, I'm like. Yeah. I didn't even know. I didn't even notice it. That's how oblivious I am. 
Oh, I got man. lots of brain cells to recover back here. <laughs> they're they're gone with the wind. They should be back now, buddy. Well, they're coming slowly. I think. <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting back now. Or I was, or I yeah. Anyways, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, I think. Yeah, my week. Um, well, the same old, same old. We had cut a couple episodes. Um, Look, I went up. I'm getting. I'm get, I'm gonna be working at a new place that I was telling you guys about last time. I still might do a little bit of work at the other one. I don't know, but they seem a little disorganized, and uh, I might be going up there to like do a little bit of lawn maintenance and stuff like that. But uh, there's another place up close to here too, so I'll be pumping gas maybe a little bit, maybe a little in the grocery store. So that's going back to my roots. That was my first job pumping gas. Did that when I was in high school. So it's a little weird. A little weird, uh, you know, almost being 40 doing that. But, uh, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be – I'm looking forward to it, actually. It's going to be – I can just go and shoot the shit with guys. It's, like, full service. You give them, like, the whole, like, do the windshield and everything. I don't know why I was doing this. this that doesn't look good. Not, <laughs> not that <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, shit. The windshield, the windshield, the windshield, and then uh, I'm wrecking sucker. But, yeah, so I start, I start diet training next – next week yeah i don't know it'll be it'll be fine like just to figure out what i'm doing for my career and i don't have to drive into town i can still stay stay out at the cottage here and just work part-time there make a little bit of money some a little bit of spending money and so yeah that's kind of been that's really the only thing else is going on mrs tried a garage sale in town basically went in and helped her throw everything else out and to dump that didn't get sold or no, not to the dump. I shouldn't say that. Sorry. We brought a lot of stuff over to Habitat Humanity, which is pretty cool. And then uh, Value Village and then some stuff went to dump. But um, yeah, man, nothing nothing too crazy. Had our meeting with Sam this morning. That was good. Um, with Jared and Sam. And uh, yeah. That's it. Proud of you, buddy. That was a good meeting. We're, we're almost uh, down to the once a month meetings with Sam. Yeah. Yes, guy. After the next <laughs> one. Once a month is going to be tough to remember. <laughs> yeah, put that on your phone for sure. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you at, you're probably getting close to once, a, once a month too, eh, Mark? Um, maybe re- still at maybe re- two weeks now. I uh, had a call with Dale yesterday too, actually. She called me because I haven't checked in in a couple weeks. <laughs> um, man, it's, it's just been pretty busy around here. And like, it's like right in the middle of the day on Friday. And we were always doing something with like my dad or my mom when they were here. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But it's not really an excuse for it. I should have, I should have called. But uh, I don't know. I talked to her yesterday. It's all good. I'm going to get back on the, on the calls next, in two weeks time. So. I really like that about Newgate, man. Yeah, yeah. I I kind I like really I like it the once a week. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is like good. once it is like hard like when you're actually like happy with your life and you're enjoying every day. It's you get sometimes. Well, I do anyways. I forget sometimes to like keep on track and keep like yeah, you come a bit work it working on it right. Mm-hmm. So oh, complacent. Yeah. That's where mistakes happen though, buddy, and complacency. Yeah. But uh I always figure out how to get right back on and on track. So fellas, you guys want to uh talk a little bit about Tara first and then uh get into a couple questions we got for each other. I'm down. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tara's up so was sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. She was uh What's that? Do you find she just seems just like just like the nicest person? Yeah, she seems super nice. Uh, I had a buddy that reached out, one buddy that listens to like all the episodes basically. Yeah. Um, and said like she sounded like really well, she was like really well spoken and really thought she like had some good things to say. So I was that was kind of cool. And being pretty young, getting sober, um, you know, it's awesome. A little envious of figuring that out at a young age be able to figure that out at a young age where you got she said she had all of her 20s to like be sober and you know don't get me wrong there's some good times in there for sure as well but uh 
yeah, you know, be be kind of kind of be be interesting to see what what things would have been like would have been like, you know, being sober earlier. But you know, not say I'm not happy where I am now. It's just you know what I mean. Just kind of looking back, but yeah, she was cool. I think her and her dad are doing a cool thing too. Like, I don't know if you listen. If you, I don't know if you guys had a chance to listen to a couple episodes, but it's kind of a good dynamic where it's you know, cause he's a little bit older than her, obviously, but, um, where he has some like more wisdom as far as, you know, just, just the, uh, demographic difference between the two of them and their, and their ages and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's good. It's a good podcast. If anyone hasn't listened to it, check it out. One part that just rotted me was, um, where she said like people were, would say stuff to her for like getting help at a young age. Oh yeah. Like that yeah. just like who who like I don't get it. I do not understand like making someone feel bad about getting help at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like tell them they don't have a problem. Like who does well, that? I don't understand. It I don't know. Something just the shit out of me. Something just clicked with me yesterday, so I'll share it. Something kind of like that happened yesterday, so I will share that after this. Oh, um, you're not, you're but not I, sure now well after we're done talking about tara oh okay yeah i just um i don't know if it's that like i was a big compare i did a lot of comparing when i was in like active so i don't know if like that's part of it as well is like if if because she had mentioned it was someone that was at uh, i think she said at the rehab she was with that kind of yeah. did that and maybe it's just that that whole like you start you know that comparing element and then that person's comparing themselves to her and being like you know you don't have an issue because you're young and whatever i don't i don't know if that has anything to do with it but yeah i agree with you it was kind of bizarre that someone would cut someone down that's also seeking help that you know someone else is seeking help i don't know yeah. it is but so strange to me yeah i'm nothing but jealous really like that's an amazing thing to do at 21 years old, man. And I wish I would have done it earlier. Me too, man. Yeah, absolutely. But you know what, though? We did it. This, you know what I'm saying? We're doing you it. You did You did it, and then, you like, my life wouldn't have been where it is now if it wasn't. And I probably wouldn't have my daughter. And, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think everything happens for a reason. But, uh it would be cool to experience your 20s sober or yeah, just yeah. like, or just not have an addiction problem. Yeah. yeah. Man, I feel like the last nine months, like <sighs> been longer than like the previous, I can say five years of my life. Yeah. I know what you mean. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like the nine months has just been like, fuck man. Like you can actually get something done in, in a week or a day or like, but five five years just flew by, and like I'm goes slower, which is nice. Oh, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's wicked. And I I, I bring it back to something too. I said I, I kind of mentioned before was like one of my fears was that whole thought. Like before getting sober, was like that that whole mentality of like or or you know one day at a time sounded like yeah it sounded tough. Like holy fuck. like because it was it was difficult to try to go a day without drinking it was impossible i mean i would manage a day here or there but like you know anyway whatever but now that being sober it's like one day at a time it's like fuck like you really love your days so it's like one day at a time is awesome because it's it you're living like some awesome days right you find as you see those days building up you understand one day at a time more yeah 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 and just like stay sober for one day at a time and eventually you're at you know like 250 days or whatever and you know you keep building on it in the suite yeah yeah i definitely i, I kind of get that it was just it was just kind of like a it was just scary at the time right thinking about yeah. that like yeah that's gonna be yeah so but fully agree man you guys want to yeah. hear this story let's hear it so bad <clears throat> okay so to start off i just want to say if somebody tells you repeatedly they don't drink or don't do drugs, don't make them feel like shit about it. Yeah. Because there's probably a reason behind it. Um, so anyone that doesn't know that, um, probably good to know that. <laughs> yeah. 
So this, we were coming up onto the, um, I think it was like the first hole and there's this putting competition and this girl, she was like kind of drunk, but she's like trying to get us to buy tickets for uh, this putting contest and these raffle tickets. So she kept, uh, she kept saying, buy these tickets. Like you could win a one night, one night with me. I'm like, first of all, no. And then I was like, and then she came up to me again. She's like, buy tickets. You have to have 20 bucks on you. I'm like, I didn't bring any cash. She's like, you didn't bring any cash. How are you buying your beer at the tournament? I'm like, I don't drink. (laughs) And she's like, yeah. And asked me again. And I'm like, no, seriously, I don't drink. And then she's like, well, you're no fun then. Like, anyways, so kind of made me feel a little like I don't really care. That's kind of like felt embarrassed for this person. Um, but that was the first encounter I've had with someone being like kind of putting me down for yeah, not not drinking. But yeah. I think if people tell you multiple times that they do not drink or they do not want to drink, or they would rather something else, don't say anything rude about that. Like, right? Because it, uh, yeah. it can make people either, that could make people, just saying that comment, that could make someone relapse. Like, and then they're all getting up. Because even like myself, like I get self-conscious of what people think sometimes. And all that kind of stuff, like not as bad as I used to, but uh, like if say if someone was really bad or just recently sober, then that could really just saying that one line could trigger them into a relapse. So, um, yeah, watch what you say. When she had, or when she said you're no fun, was there like a second where you're like where you second guessed yourself? No. No. <laughs> Okay, no. I, I probably would have been, I think, but um, like, uh, then I'd have not to really, not myself. really, not really second guess myself, but like, kind of think like, am I like, but I don't know. We were laughing all day, like, so I know I can have fun sober, but yeah, it does kind of hurt a bit because you're like, what the fuck? Like, you're trying so hard, and then you get this random person saying this shit to you, but can't let it bug me uh i was just more embarrassed for her than anything else kind of cringy but yeah so i thought i meant to i forgot about that really well so i'm a little i'm a little uh i don't know i'm upset with you or maybe disappointed like when she said about the raffle like to win a night with her could you put my name in for it how does that work (laughs) i should have uh, 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 <laughs> no you're not <laughs> no. no it's tough though because like not to her I don't want to give like not to her defense or anything but like no but know, that's why, that's it too. why it's, it, it's a tough situation to like know. yeah it's not supposed to know and it's, it is good for people to be cautious you know conscientious of but like I remember when I was at hockey tournaments, like I mentioned before, I'd like my one, my one assistant coach would like to drink. I would drink with him. And another guy, Jason, like th- he's not really a drinker. And we like, I would just be trying to peer pressure him so much to like drink with us. And like, just didn't want, he just didn't want to drink. And for me, it was like, what's wrong with you? Like, why don't you want to drink? And he yeah. doesn't have an issue with alcohol. It's just, he doesn't really, doesn't really like it. So looking back at it now, like that's so fucked up that I was like, my good times relied on him. Like, drinking as well right so it is kind of like that cultural thing too like we're so society is so like fixated on that booze and drugs or whatever right to have a good time and i don't know yeah i think when i was actively using i didn't think it was possible to have fun without yeah me neither that's like one thing i was like how am i I like before I went to rehab, I was like, how am I ever going to golf again? How am I going to do this again? Yeah. Like I was, I was, I was so bad. I had to do everything drunk. Like, I'm like, how am I going to do anything? But I, you actually do things better sober, which is very, uh, 
surprising. Yeah, that's a that's a joke, but. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it's actually, I found this more fun, man. It's like, it I, is. I wasn't having any fun when I was using it at the end of yeah. it, right? You're always looking for a bathroom, looking for somewhere to go do your drug, or like always yeah. looking for your drink, you know? Like it's always on your mind before having fun. So you, I don't know. Yeah, you can't focus on what you're actually doing. And yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, part one of shooting the sober shit. This is normally where uh, people would have a sponsorship little plug, but we don't have any. So if you're interested, let us know. Love to have you. Don't forget part two here. Click there to, uh, so I think it's over there. Click, click over here to watch part two. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And uh, thanks for watching.